Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're gonna do a little bit of a Q&A so you guys can get to know us a bit better. Yes, we asked some questions on Instagram. We have them listed out. We're gonna be answering them for you guys. And I'm a little excited. I'm a little nervous. Are you nervous? Yeah. Why? Laying it all out there. I mean... For you guys. Yeah. Our, our fans? Can we call them our fans? Our are friends. We, are we there yet? We're our friends. friends. <laughs> If you guys ever see us in public, please come say hi because we love it just as much as you guys do. We've yeah. met maybe three we, people. And we always want to be like, can we take a picture with like, you? Like, yeah. We want to take a picture with you. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. We are really excited to put out more videos. So also let us know what you want to see more of. And full disclosure, we just got a brand new camera. Okay, we're playing with some new stuff here. Okay, so bear with us. Hopefully it looks good. I think you look great regardless. Thank you. Yes. You too. All right, let's dive in. <laughs> a lot of the questions were either geared towards our dating. Yeah. And baby themed questions. So that's what we're going to focus on today. Yeah, we have two sections. One is baby and one is dating. Should we start with baby or dating? I think what came first? Dating. Dating. We got to get into the dating part. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. First question. How did we meet? We met on Disney on Ice. Boop. Right there. <laughs> we did a whole video on how we met, so make sure to check that out. Um, you'll get to find out our entire love story, how it all came together. Our first date to CVS. Yes. Very special and very unique. <laughs> <laughs> I thought on my feet. I mean, first thing that I thought of. That's it. <laughs> Wasted no time. CVS. <laughs> <laughs> How long have we been together? I should know this. About five years. Close. Seriously? <laughs> six. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Six. <laughs> I swear, he can never remember. Are you counting the first time we laid eyes on each other or the CVS date? No, I I mean, when we met and started talking, it's been six years. Six years. 2015. Wow. Yeah. Time flies. The end of 2015. So is it seven years? Ooh. I don't know. Careful, you're <laughs> aging us now. I was 22. Yeah. And you were... 23? Yeah. And now we're both 29. So, I think it's been like six-ish, yeah, almost seven years. How long did we date before getting married? Let me just preface this by saying I did not waste any time. Yeah, you were pretty, <laughs> you were pretty quick. I, think, I feel like we started, when did we start talking about getting engaged? Because that's like another big question. It's like, I was very adamant that I didn't want to just be with you to be with you. Either we were going to be together or we were going to break up. Well, because when we first got together, uh, we were only together for like the two weeks, three weeks. We started talking. We had a big break. We separated for like the couple months there. We kept talking over FaceTime and all that. And then we got back to tour together. We were on the same show together for a whole season. How many months is that? I think it was nine months, nine, nine or ten months. Nine months. And then we shifted gears. We moved from Disney on Ice. To Royal Caribbean. To Royal Caribbean. I think right around... Right around that time where, like, think about it. Like, we committed to each other. We started a new career together. I asked Mariah to be my girlfriend on October 2015. Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. I'll October. never forget. I'll never forget. <laughs> and listen, I had no idea, okay? I don't think much of it because I'm not superstitious. I'm maybe a little stitious, but, you know, I don't think much of it. So that was the day. I don't think so. I knock on wood. I... Spill the salt back if I spill it, kind of stuff. It's yeah. Do you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Little stitches. Little, little. Okay. So Friday the thirteenth, October two thousand and fifteen, we date for the year through twenty sixteen, and I proposed to Mariah in March of twenty seventeen. Yes, in beautiful Saint Thomas, overlooking the water. It was a great proposal. Yeah. Very special i there wasn't a lot of people around which mm -hmm. was very me i don't think i would have liked to be like johnny on the spot is, is that i insane? did i did make sure though that your nails were done yeah i had like a few things that i was very particular about one of them was my nails needed to be done mm -hmm. and i wanted it to be recorded and normally my nails are always done but we were working on the ship at the time and so when you're working on the ship it's like 
maintenance. <laughs> Like nails, hair, all that stuff goes out the window it's like sometimes. Bringing your car in for service. Yeah, you know, you have to like plan it out, make sure you have time. You only port for a few hours, basically a week, so you have to pick and choose what you do. Um, so I had told him, like, if you're gonna propose, like, can you just somehow have a friend ask me if I wanna go get my nails done or something? So yeah, my, yeah. I wanted my nails done, I want it recorded, and then. He knocked those two out of the park, and then on top of that, you picked an amazing location. Awesome. So, um, yeah, I, I loved our proposal. It's also in another video if you want to check it out. Let's check it out. The first thing that made you fall in love with each other. Yes. All right, you go first. For me, it was Mariah's selflessness. She was always putting others before her and always making sure that they felt welcome. Aww. Big heart. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Um, What's mine? <laughs> what did I do? I know there's a lot. I'm a peach. So. <laughs> um, I really feel like the very first thing that I noticed when we first started dating, Peter was trying to play hard to get a lot. I, so I, hold on, let me stop you there. Wait. I think I was just really nervous. <laughs> Honestly. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I thought you were like being like playing hard to get, and I was like. What is going on? <laughs> what I, is going on? I don't understand. Just over the head. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know you were doing that. You were... <laughs> I was flirting? Yeah. Or like... <laughs> Oblivious. Just, yeah. Um, so my, one of the things that I definitely felt as one of the first things I noticed is our very, our very first conversation, I noticed that you were so like ambitious and sweet. Very, very sweet. And... <laughs> Um, the very first night that we hung out, it was a party, and I cut my foot really bad, like gross bad. And Peter took me to, we were staying in a hotel, so he took me to somewhere to clean up the whole, my whole entire foot, and he was just so sweet and so caring, and I was like, hmm, this guy seems kind of nice. Well, it was a big concern because when she says cut the foot, as a skater, she cut her heel like kind of close to the Achilles. And it was a big cut. It was big. It was and scary. And very gross. Okay? And there was, there was a lot of blood. So yeah, I rushed and tried to take care of you as best I could. Yeah. And we, I mean, we barely knew each other. So I just thought it was so sweet. Like he could have gone on and partied with everyone else and be like, you know, figure it out. But instead you took time and we, it took us a while to like get it cleaned up and everything. And I just thought that that was a really sweet moment and it was the beginning of a lot of sweet things that I got to experience with my babe. <laughs> Next question, where is Peter from? I thought he was Canadian and then I heard Polish. I'm confused. I am a first generation Canadian. Both of my parents are Polish immigrants. They came to Canada from Poland separately um, and then later they met in church of all places. Mm -hmm. A year later they had me and then <laughs> that's it. So I am a dual citizen, Polish Canadian. I speak two languages. I can speak Polish confidently. Reading, not so much, I can get by. Um, yeah, that's my, that's my history, my two cents. So I'm bilingual. I'm learning, trying to get Spanish in there. Uh, French, bonjour, mm. comment ça va? <laughs> Spanish, dos cerveza, por favor. Mm. Mm. Just the gist of it, I get by. Mm, no? No. Uh, how's your Polish? Mm -hmm. Czech. Uh, That's actually pretty good. Czech. Czech. Jak się masz? Favorite dish that the other makes. For me, you hit it out of the park every time with tacos. Chicken, shrimp, steak. I don't know what she does, <laughs> but oh. Well, tacos are pretty easy to make. I mean, I have to say. But yours are the best. Thank you. Thank you. I make really good guacamole, too. Yes. So if you want to come over for some guac and tacos, just let me know. All right. <laughs> um, my favorite dish that you make is that Polish. He makes these patties. What are they called? Hmm. You're losing me. The oh, klopsiki. Yes, klopsiki. Uh -huh. I like your uh -huh. klopsiki. It's uh, gra <laughs> ground turkey and basically they're like burgers, little burgers, uh, breaded. Yeah, breaded burgers. Yes. Yeah. Ah, yeah. I had no idea. 
Yeah. Well, when's, now you know. When was the last time I made them? Jeez. It's been a while. You don't make them that often. Okay. But I really like them. YouTube idea. <laughs> yeah, we should do... Cooking with Peter. <laughs> the only... We, neither of us are really big cooks. We're, we're trying, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're not. It's, it's finding the time. You yeah. Know? And the creativity, would you say? No, I think we're just like... We have a lot going on. We have four businesses that we run. Um, so our day-to-day -day is very busy. So yeah, I, I agree. It's finding the time to cook. But we found a really good meal prep place. So we have been trying to make sure we're at least eating healthy. Yep. But um, when we do cook, we try to make the things that we like. Yes. Yeah. Still on the dating topics, we're going to shift gears to a little more in-depth questions. Mm -hmm. One of these, uh, very interesting. Did you find it hard dating as a black woman? I feel like I did. And I didn't date for very long. So I feel like my experience is probably... I wouldn't say like the best experience because I did meet Peter when I was 22, so I was very young. But when I was trying to meet people and things like that, there were definitely conversations that came up that made me feel uncomfortable. I was on tour doing a lot of traveling, so I had an exposure to a lot of different type of people. A lot of people I feel viewing me as unique or different and wanting to have this new experience because of that. Mm. Um, and so I really do feel like I struggled in some senses more than I felt like my friends did in finding someone that liked me for me. Mm. And so could that have been because I was a black woman? I think in some in instances, yes, maybe not all. But I definitely think that um, when I met you, one of the things that really just was surprising to me was that you loved me for me. And I really struggled to find that um, in the beginning and was so grateful when I did find it. Mm -hmm. So I definitely, for anybody that is dating, if you encounter dating someone and they're making comments and being insensitive and things like that, like something that I really urge everyone to do is think long term mm -hmm. and is that something that you could deal with on a regular basis because normally the answer is no can your family deal with that you know mm -hmm. no you know mm -hmm. and so those are things that I think really help me see full picture when I thought that something could be right it was knowing that realistically maybe not this question comes from somebody who is in a interracial relationship and they ask, has Peter ever said anything insensitive? Yes, I have. Um, but that came more from a space of ignorance on my part. And I've since learned and educated myself. Yeah. And I think we've had a lot of conversations mm -hmm. throughout the years, you know, before we were going to have kids, a lot of that came up. Um, situations where, yeah, he said, different things he didn't actually he didn't grow up mm -hmm. around a lot of black people yeah. um and so to be in a relationship and then engaged and married to you know a black woman there was a lot of things that you had to learn and i think yeah. for this person who's asking the question a, a big red flag for me is if you explain something to someone and they are just not willing to... They, they brush it off. Yeah, they're like, oh, whatever, you know, mm -hmm. or they're not willing to listen and take it in. And something that really, really stood out to me with Peter is that he was willing to take what I was telling him, learn from it, not continue to use whatever terminology or phrase that he said. And then also just seeing you, like, talk with my family, um my grandma and just trying to learn as much of our history and understanding yeah. that he will never truly understand, mm -hmm. but that he stands with me, that he supports me and he Always. is ready to be a father to a child of mixed race, you know? Mm -hmm. So we're really looking forward to that. And I think that communication is key. hundred <laughs> percent. Best piece of marriage advice we've ever gotten. For me, you hear it all the time, <laughs> I know but I practice it. I preach it all the time. Happy wife, happy <laughs> life. And let me tell you, okay, I live that through and through on the daily. 
Yes, it's true. It's true. Happy wife, happy wife. No, I'm um, I think for me, best marriage advice is really to communicate. I think yeah. we still struggle with it. I mean, we, I think everybody who's married, it's like number one thing that people mm. struggle with is communication. Um, we have, when we have miscommunication and we realize and we like, you know, argue or get at each other, it's always a matter of like, well, did, were, was I listening to you? Were you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Did you feel like you got your point across? Whether you were right or wrong, did I let you have that time to speak? Mm. Um, that's usually where I think we find our most, um, like issue spot. So I definitely find, I think communication is the best thing you can do for your relationship, whether you're married, engaged, dating, friends, communicate. Nice. <laughs> to round out our dating questions, how did you guys first interact with people saying you shouldn't be in an interracial relationship? This one I think is, is tough. Yeah. I think it's tough to interact with anybody who, you know, if, for example, doesn't like you or doesn't agree with your choices. So I definitely think the best thing to keep in mind is that other people's opinions of you do not concern you. Yeah, do not matter. Um, if you're happy and you're in love, that's really all that matters. I would not worry about these other people. Of course, it's harder when it's someone who's closer to you. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I don't think it's worth sacrificing your happiness for someone else's. 